you so much for doing this interview with me as we are speaking right now. It's a little bit more quieter here than it was before because, of course, this is Indie Week, celebrating not just Canadian music but music around the world of all different genres. How does it feel being part of all this? How does it feel being part of what the chaos was going on? But more importantly, how does it feel knowing that you have a stage here in Toronto to present your music for fans of music? It feels awesome. I mean, it's great to be here. I think I love, I tour a lot internationally and I love that we can bring a bunch of people together here from different places and showcase their music. And it's always great to play and it's always great to play in Toronto. So, yeah. What made you decide to be part of uh, Indie Week? I actually met Daryl from Indie Week on the riverbanks of Chile. Okay, got to stop you there. Okay. Explain who Daryl is. Okay, Daryl is the founder of Indie Week. So we met two years ago on a business trade mission to Chile and Argentina and really hit it off. We're both big fans of independent music and I ran a house concert series here for local artists. So um, yeah, so we got involved in some different projects working with a bunch of different Brazilian bands and yeah. What is it like being, you know, working behind the scenes but at the same time working in front of that microphone? Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's really cool. I think I think there's huge benefits. Sometimes it can be a little bit much if you're doing it all in the same day. Um, but I think the benefit of it is that you really get to see the ins and the outs of how things work. And um, yeah, and you meet so many amazing people, and you can support each other through the inevitable ups and downs of the music industry. So I think it's really really lovely. Where did that love of music begin for you? Ooh, I, I don't know. I always sang. I think singing is definitely where the passion comes from for me. Um, and always kind of singing and dancing as a kid and then really developing it more into university and um, yeah, it just comes out. I'm just always singing all day long. But somewhere along the line, writing comes in. Where did that come in? What influenced you on that? So writing for me came a little later. I probably started about four or five years ago. And that really came because I, I got to a place emotionally where I, had, I felt like I had no other choice. I was really in a spot where I needed to work through some things. And music was the way that I did that. So, um, and yeah, and it's, it's continued to be that for me. It's a way to articulate things that are hard to articulate. Feelings can be very nebulous. So it's, um, it's been a way for me to really develop that. And I think from that, I've gained the confidence about writing uh, that has helped me really push forward and see how much creativity, I, like how much I actually love writing and, and what a big part of my life it is now. Do you remember the first song you wrote that you performed for an audience and what was that like? You're going to laugh at me. This song is pretty funny. I think it was called Hottie with a Body. and Okay, I am laughing. <laughs> right? Was, yeah, I performed it at an open mic, but it was like, it's a hottie with a body and he broke my heart. Something like that. But yeah, it was a little ridiculous, but yeah. But you got it out there yeah. from Hottie Body. Yeah. How do you think that your songwriting has changed to what we're going to be talking about in just a moment? Yeah, I mean, I think the first EP of Catharsis has been, um, it's really heartfelt, you know? And I, I someone say to me which made me cry a little bit but it, he was like it sounds like music to fix your life too and good analogy right yeah and I you know and I think that's so accurate because it's music that I'm trying to fix my life too you know and that's why I'm writing it so um, yeah so it's very warm a lot of feeling very emotive and a lot of vocals a lot of beautiful layered vocals so um, yeah and then I feel like the next stuff that I've been writing is a little bit more powerful in a different way so it's it's um, it's about boundary setting and it's about drawing a line in the sand about how people treat you and and all of those things and so it's it's got a little bit more edge to it which is fun what's been the reaction so far well I haven't released it yet so it's been uh, internal reactions have been really good and sharing it with trusted friends has been uh, I played it at a couple shows this summer too and it's been great I mean I think there are still relatable themes you know it's it's going through this life and trying to figure out where where your boundaries lie and it's really important to set them I think as we grow and mature that's a big part of of being healthy is figuring out okay like where do I where do I stand in this and how do I have relationships with people that are really productive and really loving and a part of that love sometimes is setting boundaries so yeah when does EP come out um, well, TBD but it'll be in 2020 yeah so I'll probably start releasing singles as of February so got some videos in the works and just trying to make it happen and shows in 2020 what can we look forward to 
Yeah, we can look forward to, I'll be touring quite a bit, I think, as of April. Um, so for those of you around the world, I'll be uh, hitting some different spots in Europe and Mexico. Um, but yeah, I have... I haven't booked anything in the winter, to be honest, but I think I'll be playing a few local shows in Toronto uh, in like January, February, and then we'll see from there. Before we go, folks I know who are watching this interview, they're going, where did she get those? Talk about the earrings, please. <laughs> Uh, the earrings I bought for a video shoot, and uh, I actually got them at Aldo Accessories of all places. <laughs> I wish there was like a cooler story behind it, but they you know they're going to start great stuff there. Yeah, say, you know you realize now yeah. that they just like turn the computer off. They're running over and they're looking for this. Like, right how do we get them? Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Social media. Where do we go to follow you? Julie Neff Music on Instagram and Julie Neff everywhere else. So yeah, you can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, all the places. Thank you so much. Have a great time during Indie Week and looking forward to everything in 2020. Thanks for having me.